and welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I'm broadcasting live from my bed in honor of the Victoria's Secret fashion show that I would bust out the little satin robes and show you guys how to make the bathrobes that all of the models are always wearing because they're so stinking cute, but they're wildly overpriced. So today I thought I would show you how to make your own because you can do the same thing and get the look for like 20 bucks. So here we go, channeling our inner angels DIY bathrobe style. <laughs> Alrighty guys, you're going to need some iron-on letters and applique. I got these to say my name. You can get them to say anything. Um, bride or happy or dream or sister, or, you know, whatever floats your fancy. Um, then I also got these angel wings. Um, these were, I think, $3 downtown, so pretty fun. This is what we're going to use to iron onto the robe. We also, of course, are going to need a silky robe. This is actually by one of my friends, um, Arika Sato. Uh, she's a doll. They come in a bunch of different colors, like they have the pink one with the lace. Um, I'm gonna use my black one, just because that is what I'm in the mood for today, but they're all fabulous um, and super cheap, too. You're also gonna wanna get a piece of cardboard, um, just because that helps when you're ironing things on. You're also gonna wanna grab a ruler. Um, for some unknown reason, I cannot find my ruler. I don't know if I never owned one, because I never used one, but anyways, I'm borrowing this from my neighbor, because they don't have a ruler either. Perhaps rulers are going extinct, I don't know. So this is like really dirty and gross, but whatever. Grab a ruler, um, and <laughs> you'll be good to go. Last but not least, grab yourself an iron, and we can get started. Obviously, this isn't on, you guys, otherwise I wouldn't be grabbing it. Okay, here we go. All right, so first thing you are gonna wanna do is open the robe so you can see like the front part of it. And then you're going to grab the cardboard and go ahead and put that in the back here. This is so when you're ironing it, um, it doesn't like melt through the fabric. There you go, go ahead and close that up like this. Oh, look at this dapper young man, ready for work, okay. The robe is now all flipped over and the cardboard is underneath there, so it's like hard. All right, so now what you're going to do is take all of the little appliques. I ended up cutting these in half. Um, where's the other one? Here it is. Um, so I ended up cutting these in half just so I could be able to like move them around and put them where I wanted. So now all you've got to do is lay the appliques where you want them to go. I'm going to kind of want them to start a little bit by the armholes, I think. So we'll put one right there. We'll put this one right here. Make them even as they can be, you know, obviously. And then I'm going to want to go ahead and put my name. If you happen to have um, the letters like I have where you can just trim off the excess, go ahead and do that. Um, that way you can fit them a little closer together. So I just did that with some scissors real quick um, and made a nice little mess. So now that I got the basic outline down, I want to make sure that it's even. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the wings off because um, those are not going to be what I'm ironing on first. I'm going to want to iron my name on first and I want to make sure that it's even. So I'm just going to take the little ruler. You can go ahead and line up the letters make sure that it's like not completely a mess whatever you get the gist make sure they're actually properly aligned and then we can start to iron them on also so mind you here we go this is the letter and now what you have to do for the letter just to iron it on is this backing actually comes off so you can see like this and there we go it's kind of like sticky adhesive um, but this is what you are going to just lay onto the fabric like this and then we will iron it on like so. So go ahead, remove the backing and place them all over the robe where you want them to go. So once you got that all laid out, go ahead and grab your iron, plug it in. We're just going to go ahead and iron this onto this so then the little stickers um, will get molded into the robe. Hold it for about 30 seconds and you will be good to go. There you go, you guys. You can just go ahead and peel off the plastic once they're all done. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, look at that. Alrighty, so there we go. You can see it now has my name on it, looking fabulous. So now we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but with the wings. And there we go, just go ahead and peel off the crystal backing and ta-da, you've got your very own crystallized silky bathrobe. guys that is how I made my little crystally bathrobe I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY as always if you have any questions comments concerns all my socials are at Amber Scholl I love you so very much um this is so weird to be filming upside down like this so I think this is gonna be the last video that I do this for but um I don't know 
I just wanted to shake it up. Why not? Life is short and you only live once. So hope you guys enjoyed the crystal-y bathrobes. Like I said, this would work for literally any kind of project that you want to do. Um, if you're having a bridal party or a baby shower or a birthday or whatever you want, just bedazzle it, put whatever you want on the robe. It's so fun. Or t-shirts or, you know, literally anything. This is the same process. So have a good time. Go enjoy being little bedazzly beauties. I love you so much, my little angels. Um, and also, in fact, I decided that my whole little like squad name of you guys, you're going to be called my angels amber's angels so yay <laughs> okay i love you little angels i'll see you soon kisses till next time xo <laughs>the way just as a side note remember you don't have to look like a supermodel to feel like one so go ahead make yourself a robe and feel glamorous and sexy just like the fabulous little lady you are no matter what size you're beautiful babe don't forget it